type of games we all love and hate at the same time. We love the gameplay aspect, but we hate the gacha. We despise paying money, but somehow, some way, our credit card finds its way into the game. And all of a sudden, we get addicted. Maybe to the gameplay, maybe to the pulling, or maybe both. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So I found some funny and also kind of sad stories about addiction to gacha games. And so this first one occurred around a month ago, pretty much at the release of Honkai Star Rail, the hot new Hoyoverse game. If you play gacha games, you probably heard it. If you haven't, thank goodness, stay away from it. But yeah, Valorant Pro Player, yeah, Valorant, the shooting game. If you don't know what it is, also, thank goodness. Actually, why are you watching this video in the first place? But thanks for watching, you should subscribe, yeah. But here we have Valorant Team Forfeits League match as player is too busy playing Honkai Star Rail. Yeah, that's a crazy title. So basically this Valorant player, who is a professional player, a person who gets paid to play Valorant, missed the game, and their whole team had to forfeit the game all because he was too busy playing Honkai Star Rail. Imagine losing a game that you get paid to play so that you could play another game that you pay to play. That's that's absurd. That is absolutely absurd. I really don't get how that could happen. Now, apparently this player had to download a client before the game started so that the two teams could play against each other. I don't know why you need a separate client to play the game. Maybe because it's like a pro match official match. So like gotta be extra safe make sure there's no like hacks or I, I, I don't know i don't i don't play professional valorant imagine being dropped from the team because it's entirely his fault he was too busy playing honkai star rail so i wouldn't be surprised if he got dropped from the team imagine telling some people yeah i i used to play in pro valorant but i don't anymore and they ask oh why don't you play anymore and then you're like oh i was too busy playing a gacha game honkai star rail and then i missed the match and then we had to forfeit the game yeah that, that's an absolutely crazy story but that just highlights the danger of gacha games and especially new ones that come out with a lot of hype star rail product of hoyoverse hoyoverse maker of genshin impact and genshin impact is also a really huge game gotcha too and these types of games just have a way of enticing you to keep playing and make you addicted i'm probably well not probably i am addicted to genshin and star rail more so star rail these days but i still play at least one of the games and that's probably their marketing strategy if you get bored of genshin you got star rail if you're bored of star rail you got genshin never ending cycle you just keep playing hoyo verse games and i have this other funny story for you not so funny for the victims but it, it's funny from an outside perspective this child in china spent sixty four thousand dollars of her parents money on mobile games mobile games yeah over the span of just four months but there's some good news she didn't just spend the sixty four thousand dollars on herself she spent part of it for 10 of her classmates who also wanted to buy stuff from these mobile games at least she's sharing she cares for other people or maybe she got pressured into doing that by her classmates i don't know but i like to think that she was a kind soul who just got a little bit you know just a little bit not not too much but just a little bit addicted to mobile games and wanted to spend money on them and somehow some way she got a hold of her parents credit card probably because it was loaded onto the phone or whatever device she was playing on and then she just went ham but she was also pretty smart in hiding it she deleted all her transaction history probably deleted all the emails that were sent for maybe potential fraud she was pretty smart in hiding it just not so smart on the spending part and don't get me wrong this is a hundred percent the parents fault i mean the parents were definitely irresponsible for number one leaving their child with a device unattended i mean put some of the restrictions on there i'm pretty sure you could put restrictions on devices now that you know restricts your child from accessing stuff for a set amount of time and then once that set amount of time is up all right play time's over you take your device back and then you know you get access again it's simple as that but apparently these parents just hand their device no restrictions at all somehow free reign to their credit card and free reign probably everything all other personal information on there to a 13 year old child not a not a great move by the parents this highlights once again that gacha games are incredibly addicting and 
preys on their most gullible targets children children don't know any better they see something that they want to get and if they have the means to get it they'll get it because they don't know any better and they don't know how to be responsible with money but yeah that is crazy in all seriousness i do hope that the parents get their money back because i rather have them have it than these mobile game companies and i for sure think that this child probably spent part of that 64,000 on genshin or maybe honkai because it was from january to May, and honkai came out a month ago so it's within that time scope so maybe maybe i wouldn't be surprised they are pretty big games but yeah i do hope that the parents get their money back somehow they're probably not going to in all honesty because mobile game companies are ruthless they are absolutely ruthless they will squeeze out every penny from you but if they can get it back some way that'd be great i'm pretty sure they learned their lesson by now the child definitely learned their lesson parents also i i, I really hope they learned their lesson I mean, they should it's a pretty expensive one a sixty-four thousand dollar one that that's about it it's still crazy. It's still crazy. I don't, I don't get how this could happen, but it's still crazy. Okay, bye-bye.